today i will discuss about prosthesis for hip replacement surgeries so hip replacement surgeries are classified into hemi replacement surgery and total hip replacement surgery so hemi replacement surgery means replacing only the femoral component total hip replacement surgery means it replaces femoral as well as the acetabular component today i am dealing with the femoral components for hemi replacement arthroplasty of hip joint here you can see the thompson prosthesis austin mur prosthesis and the bipolar prosthesis for hemi replacement arthroplasty of hip joint this is an x-ray showing fracture neck of femur which is the most common indication for a hemi replacement arthroplasty of hip joint now we will discuss about the details of each prosthesis this is a thompson prosthesis it is a unipolar prosthesis what are the parts of thompson prosthesis it has a head neck collar and stem the stem of this prosthesis does not have any holes so like ostimor prosthesis because of the presence of holes the bone in growth will occur but in thompson prosthesis the fixation of the implant into the bone by bone cement so this prosthesis can also be used in a patient with a deficient calcar or if the calcar is less than 1 cm the indication is uh, neck of femur fracture with a deficient calcar next is austin mur prosthesis it has head neck collar and stem and as a shoulder so there is a hole which is present in the collar region this hole is for maintenance of antivation and also for the removal of the prosthesis and there are two holes are present in the stem which will help for the bone in growth that will stabilize the implant into the bone and ho these holes also make the implant more lighter as compared with the thompson prosthesis and this shoulder region of this prosthesis will fit into the greater trochanteric area and it will prevent rotation and the indication of this prosthesis when there is adequate calcar is present at least 1.5 cm and this collar region will sit into the calcar portion of the femur and this is also an unipolar prosthesis like thompson prosthesis and the main differentiating feature from a thompson prosthesis is it has got holes in the stem and that is austin mur prosthesis next is a bipolar prosthesis also known as talwarkar's bipolar prosthesis parts of this prosthesis are head within head it has got a outer metallic head which is lined by polyethylene and there is a smaller metallic head inside and there is neck and collar collar sits over calcar stem is smooth and tapered and there is a hole present in the proximal part of the stem this hole is for antiversion maintenance and implant removal the inner head moves in interprosthetic joint and the outer head moves inside the acetabulum that's why it is known as a bipolar prosthesis it is preferred to go for a cemented fixation for bipolar but in case of good bone stock we can go for uncemented fixation also advantages of bipolar prosthesis are increased range of motion and less acetabular wearing it is proved in various studies that the articulation between the outer and inner head is lost in few months about 3 months after the surgery and bipolar prosthesis become unipolar to overcome this issue there is a bicentric bipolar prosthesis so now you can see the unipolar thompson prosthesis the austin mur prosthesis and the bipolar prosthesis one more implant that is the modular bipolar prosthesis it is a device between bipolar and cemented total hip replacement system in modular prosthesis the neck length is variable and in a bipolar prosthesis the neck length is fixed that's all for today thank you